Today, we're going to be playing a unique and exciting mod in CSGO called Rogue. Created by Oro Stealth, this innovative twist on the traditional gameplay incorporates elements of roguelike games, making it a challenging and super fun experience. To begin, let's start by explaining what Rogue Mode is. This mode introduces procedurally generated levels, which means each playthrough is different from the last. Throughout the game, you'll find items and upgrades that help your run. As you progress through the levels, the difficulty increases, and the enemies become even tougher. Once you die, it's game over and you have to start from the beginning. <laughs> no! But wait, there's a twist. If you're playing with a friend, they can actually revive you by sacrificing half their health. With each game you play, you earn points to unlock permanent upgrades ranging from new weapons to increased health to cards with special abilities. So that's the basics. If you want to see more Counter-Strike content on this channel, make sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the game and see how it goes. Vocalist, Wicked, Medic, Critic. I guess they start with different parents. This one has like 100 critical damage. Huh. Okay. Do we have no weapons? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I can get this. The P2000. Okay. And we're here. Ah, what? <laughs> Throwing snowballs at us. Wait, that guy has no head, but it's alive. You can probably shoot the barrels too, right? The yeah. I imagine so. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Those buffs? You can have it. Oh! Let me throw a snowball at them. Ah! Oh my god. I missed. Holy oh, cow. Ooh. A card? A card? Oh, nice, nice, nice. My turn. Help you wanna try again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one. Woo! <laughs> boss, boss, boss. Boss? Where? Whoa, Dude, he's all over the place. Oh, oh he's a spin bot boss. Oh, let's get rid of the other ones first. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Anything with that molly. Come on, run through my molly. Dude, run through my molly. So I don't waste it. Come on! No flash. <laughs> flash <him. laughs> well, our first run was a complete disaster. But after a few tries, we finally learned a few tips and tricks to make things easier. To view your current cards, look up at the sky and press E. Then use the WASD keys to navigate the menu. Similarly, if you want to see your current stats, look down on the ground and press E. Killing chickens comes toward your special ability cooldown, which can be super handy when you're playing medic. Oh, and don't forget to take a good look at your map and make sure you're not skipping any rooms, because those rooms may provide you with the guns and weapons that you need for a successful run. Do you have the deagle still too? Yeah, uh, you have the deagle, I'll take the P250. And the money, thank you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this is your deagle skin? Yeah, roger that. You need a better deagle skin, man. Ah, get back! I feel it. This is the one. This is the one that we beat the whole game. I need <laughs> Finally, we made it to the first boss fight. To beat this part, you gotta... Well, I'm not gonna tell you everything. Where's the fun in that? Let's just say it involves some clever tactics. I'm blind. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm dude, so, so blind. <laughs> oh my goodness. While there were still a few bugs here and there, overall, Rogue is a fantastic mode to play. My friends and I had a lot of fun playing it. As a big co-op shooter fan, I wish this mod could be ported over to the Source 2 engine or even made into an official game mod in the Counter-Strike franchise. If you're a fan of roguelike games or just looking for a new and exciting way to play Counter-Strike, 
then I highly recommend giving Rogue a try. That's all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting gaming content. See you next time!